Hello. Uh, uh, not too long ago, I talked about um, <clears throat> possibly doing some, just talking on some of Christopher Nolan's films. Um, possibly even talk about Dunkirk and the Batman films even more than I already have. Um, you know, that was a few weeks ago because it was his birthday. Um, so, yeah, I thought, you know, why not? Uh, I rewatched uh, uh, his first film, uh, Following, uh, which is from the Criterion Collection. So this is a great addition to the or a version of the film. Uh, it's open. I get. Uh, I did. I watched it not too long ago. Um, I had the DVD. It's not this version. Uh, obviously, <laughs> it's the original release uh, DVD. But yeah, this version of the film is really good. Um, yeah, th this comes with a <clears throat> Doodle Bug, which is a short film. That he made starring the main, the guy who was in this film, uh, Jeremy Theobald, who also helped produce the film with him, uh, Christopher Nolan and his wife. And Christopher Nolan himself wrote, directed, and uh, was a cinematographer on this film, uh, in addition to producing. Now, uh, about following. Um, Basically, uh, it's it's a neo noir film, which is if you don't know, it's like f modern day film noir. It's everything like film noir that's past the time of film noir, because uh, you know film noir was in the 1930s and 50s. There were some movies that uh, that predated uh, the 40s in the era of the film noir, but you know. I don't know, they they don't ever class those films as film noir, even though they look and seem to be like, ex or exactly like film noir. They just aren't. But, yeah. That was an unnecessarily long explanation of that, and has nothing really to do with it, outside of it this being a film noir type film. And quite honestly, his first three films really share that well. Actually, I guess you could argue all of it, Christopher Nolan's films, all have a film noir type look. If you turned off the color of the Batman trilogy, you would it would look like a film noir movie because of how dark and everything it is, or they are. Um, but following is about a guy who follows people. He picks one person out of a crowd and he just follows them. Uh, he says he's a writer. Uh, he's like, he follows people to study them, to see what they do for characters, for what he's writing, like a book he's writing about. Uh, possibly screen writer, because uh, he does have a picture of, or a poster of Marilyn Monroe. So, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's what he's going for, but, you know, he's a, Uh, and, and essentially, um, one of the people he follows it turns out to be a thief, and uh, you know, as uh, the film goes on, he and this guy, uh, the the man is credited as uh, the young man, but he goes by the name Bill. That's what he tells everybody he meets, and. Um, we don't know if that's his real name or not. Uh, and the guy he talks to, uh, who's the, a robber, his name is Cobb, which is Leonardo DiCaprio's name, or his character's name in Inception. And, and, and both of those characters are thieves. Um, so, yeah, Cobb, yeah, he shows Bill how to steal and how to do it all properly and whatnot. Like, like, seek out a place, look it over a few days, weeks, or whatever, and then just go from there, just see what happens. 
And as this goes on, um, and he's telling this to someone who, spoiler at the very end, I guess not really exactly a spoiler, because it's at the, even at the very beginning, you kind of get this information, like he uh, says this is his, like, his confession, basically. He, uh, he's talking to a cop, so I guess it's not really a spoiler, but, yeah, he he's telling a cop of what he's been doing throughout this whole film, and um, at some point, uh, you know, he's one of the people he follows is, is a girl, this woman. Uh, she's blonde, and they call her the blonde woman, basically. She doesn't really seem to have a name either. And, you know, uh, eventually, uh, throughout uh, the whole, throughout the film, uh, Bill and this woman, they have a relationship, and then later on, it finds out, oh, she knows Cobb, and all this stuff. A lot of things just happen, kind of, I guess, blow up and uh, uh, Bill's uh, face. Things just don't turn out how he all, how he hoped, basically. Um, that's essentially the gist of the whole film, uh, plot and everything. But I didn't go into too much detail because, well. Even though this was his feature film debut, or Christopher Nolan's uh, directorial debut, his feature film debut, um, it, it doesn't seem to be still uh, watched a whole lot, unless you're a huge Christopher Nolan fan, or you like uh, non-linear films, because this is a non-linear movie, you know. Um, though, with Christopher Nolan, that, that's not, that shouldn't be a real surprise to anybody. Or if you like... Film noir, neo noir, things like that. Um, um, I think you could even classify this as a, you know, a really a. Um, I look this up. You could even possibly classify this. I think you could say maybe a thriller. Um, though I guess you could. Yeah, crime thriller. Yeah. Yeah, it's classified as a crime thriller. I, I, I would say that's a very a good description of it in terms of genre. So if you're fond of crime thrillers, if you're a fan of uh, film noir, new noir, um, Christopher, no Christopher Nolan films, um, I'd say see it um, and watch it. I think it's fairly good. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. Um, Especially for a feature film debut, um, so uh, it's it's a good film. Um, yeah, if you really like Christopher Nolan, I don't think you'll be too disappointed, honestly. Um, if like the films he's made, uh, though the the actors and actresses, like, they you know, really they never never really went on to do much, uh, anything else, honestly. Jeremy Theobald, he did, he was in Batman Begins, he was a guy who was in, uh, like, the Gotham, it says, Gotham Waterboard Technician in Batman Begins, the guy who was there with the older man as the train was heading for, heading for the, to Wayne, like, Wayne Enterprises, and uh, the water was about to, like, blow when it reached them. Um, yeah, he's not acting anymore. Uh, he, what is he doing? He's an executive editor for the Forum of Global Health Protection. Huh. He's an interest in publication ethics and... Uh, huh. Uh, he's, um, he's, I guess he's working with, well, um, journalism kind of thing, um, with Lucy Russell, um, yeah, she's like the only one of the main people who's doing stuff still, 
Um, she's even in. She's even in Batman Begins also. She's a female restaurant guest. Hmm. She's on the in the Crown, uh, playing Lady Mountain Batten. Uh, interesting. Never seen the Crown, but I've heard it's good. Um, but anyway, you know. The people in here, uh, you might not recognize, except for like one person who was who's done a lot more things since then. Um, the other guy, if you watch Batman Begins, you probably would see him at the very end of the film. Um, and the guy who's Cobb, yeah, you, he's never done anything else. These are all friends of Christopher Nolan's, and uh, yeah, even Emma Thomas is in this. Uh, she's in the film. She acted because you need. Christopher Nolan needed people, so yeah. Also, the woman is credited as the blonde, not the blonde woman, but yeah, she's the blonde. Sort of a nod to Hitchcock, who often had, you know, blondes as uh, main women. So, yep. Uh, it's, it's really all I got to say. Um, pretty short. Uh, I'm pretty glad, uh, but I don't want to really spoil a whole lot of what goes on in the film. I mean, it is a better, probably a better known film than some of uh, other filmmakers, you know, because Christopher Nolan's a huge popular guy. His movies are popular, so people probably look into what he's made, but, like in the past. Um, but, I believe I'll go next time, or I'll talk about Memento. Uh, rewatch that. Probably rewatch all of his films in the coming weeks to talk about them. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say uh, about following. Um, hope you found this useful. If you've already seen it, uh, do you like it? Do you share... Would you share, recommend this to anybody? Uh, yeah. I don't want to share it, but re recommend. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to say, share this video. Uh, whatever. People do what they want. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all next time. Till then, have a good week. And a good day.